World Watch One. Direct incoming transmission. Yeah. Hello, Mr. President. I know your back is killing you, but uh, I have a developing situation here, and I must speak frankly. Buckaroo, uh, Secretary of Defense McKinley and my National Security Advisor Smirnoff are visiting me, but uh, I have no secrets from them. Well, something has reared its ugly head in outer space, Mr. President, and it looks like the Earth has caught in a crossfire. We have reason to believe that there are vicious red aliens walking freely among us, posing as the owners and operators of Yo-Yo Dine Propulsion Systems. Uh, Yo-Yo Dine Propulsion, uh, the people working on our truncheon bomber? In the hands of foreign nationals, Excuse me, you Mr. Say? President. Time is short. In order to prevent John Warfin's escape, my comrades are at this very moment taking up a geostationary position over New Jersey. This situation is explosive. The hell is that? It's explosive? What are you saying, man? Some kind of race war in New Jersey? No, Mr. President, no. This, this man, as you call him, is not a human being at all, but is in fact a black lectroid named John Parker from the very same Planet 10, and his spaceship is at this moment anchored above Yo-Yo Dine. Buckaroo, my good That's friend. It. These red creatures, they must somehow give off the bacteria. We breathe it. It swims up our nose, into our cerebral cortex, where it literally talks to our brain cells, tells us to see exactly what they want us to see. Electric brainwashing. Diabolical. They got us so confused. Buckaroo, we'll I, uh, I don't know what to say. Electroids? Planet 10? Nuclear extortion. A girl named Jean. Buckaroo. Lexford Wing Commander. Excuse me, Mr. President. I have to go talk to the hornet's nest. Good God.